Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sunkiss and this is Sunkisser. If you're watching this video, go ahead and drop everything you're doing and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. What are you waiting on? Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend that they need to subscribe to Sunkiss Serves and be part of Sunkiss Nation. What are y'all waiting on? It is long overdue. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the fun. Welcome to the inspiration. You will be getting loads of different types of videos. So stay tuned and enjoy the ride. It's Monday, so you know what that means. Let's hop straight into some morning inspiration. Today's morning inspiration will be centered on the topic of the law versus Jesus. The law versus Jesus. And we will be looking at Galatians chapter 3. As I was reading that chapter, again, as I mentioned in my previous video, Paul was the one that wrote Galatians and he was writing to the churches in Galatia. And this chapter is pretty hard because he is reprimanding the people for being so foolish. I know the Bible says we shouldn't call anyone foolish, but Paul was fed up. He was like, why are you so foolish that you would think that you were saved by the law versus being saved by faith through Jesus Christ? And as I was reading this chapter in Galatians, it just really had me thinking about the law versus Jesus, we understand that the law was established before Jesus was manifested to us. If we look in the book of Genesis chapter one, we see God said, let us create man in our image, denoting that the Holy Spirit and Jesus were present. They just were not manifested to humankind at that moment. Now, the law was what was governing the people of the Old Testament. When we look at Moses, he was given a law by God, the Ten Commandments that he wrote on the tablets. And there are so many laws, books upon books, pages upon pages of different laws that the people of the Old Testament were trying to follow and were trying to uphold. But honestly, it was very hard for a mere human being to try to follow all of these laws without supernatural strength and help. Now, the law was solely focused on the works of an individual rather than being faith-based. That's why we say that the law is not faith. The law had nothing to do with faith. It was all about works. Whereas on the contrast, faith is really your belief in Jesus, your belief in God, it has nothing to do with the works. Our works are like filthy rags before the Lord. So when Jesus Christ came, he came to fulfill the law. He came not to abolish it, but to fulfill it. And he even said that heaven and earth will pass away, but my word, no dot will ever you know, pass away from the word. The word will remain. Now, when Jesus Christ came to this earth, he came to fulfill the law because he was the perfect example of what the law was requiring. There was no sin in him. There was nothing that was wrong. There was no error in Jesus Christ. So he came to fulfill it so that we could be brought back to God through him. He became our mediator. He was the bridge that led us back to God. So we are not under the curse of the law, but we are now operating in faith. And it is through the grace of God that we are given salvation, not by works, not by anything that we have done, but solely through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. When I think about the ultimate sacrifice that Jesus made for us, I'm just so grateful because when I look back on the law and all of the requirements, I'm like, I would have been doomed even before I was born. We were born into sin. We were going to be imperfect, so there was no chance for us, but God had mercy and he saw that and he decided that he needed to come to this world in human form to become the ultimate sacrifice and the mediator for his children. He loved us so much that he did that. This morning, wherever you are, wherever you find yourself, if you're driving, if you're at home, 
if you're cooking, whatever you are doing, just take a minute and thank God for giving us his son, Jesus. Just thank him for the ultimate sacrifice. Thank him for what he went through on Calvary and having to die and give his blood as an ultimate sacrifice for you and me. Every time I think about it, I tear up because I'm like, wow, like he came to this earth in human form, flesh and blood, just like you and me and suffered. He was beaten. He was wounded. Like a sword was pierced in his side. Like I, I just think about it and it just makes me emotional because I'm like, wow, this God is great and he loves us so much. That is the true definition of love. No one out here is showing you love like our God. And if we're able to even show love, even half of what he shows us to other people, like this world would be a better place. Like, wow. I hope you are able to reflect on the law versus Jesus this morning and just think about that sacrifice. I hope that this was a blessing onto you. Share it with your friends and your loved ones. I'm sure they will be blessed as well. I was blessed, even though I'm the one giving the word. Amen. Amen. Until next time, Sunkiss Nation, I will catch you on my next video. Bye and catch you later.